So as I've had a cocoa-centric breakfast, okay, I feel like paradise and I walk like paradise all day long, okay? Um, and it's outdoor bliss, okay? Um, I cannot be tempted by a stupid gym. I do not need to play stupid sports. These are modern inventions that all suck compared to God food, which was invented by God 6,000 years ago. Wow, did I just say that and potentially set billions of males free from stupidity and all sorts of dumb things they've been doing that no one really wants anyways compared to this feeling and this functionality and all the rest of the benefits? Unbelievable. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, that is exactly the condition of everyone on this earth compared to me. Death, death, death. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Lost, lost, lost. Zombie, zombie, zombie. I'm just here to tell you the honest truth so you can put yourself in my shoes. But, okay, I'm living in paradise. I tell you, I, I live in paradise every day. I feel like paradise. And everyone else around me is a zombie. That's it. <laughs> so, I mean... <laughs> classic example of people either going to love me or hate me, but don't ignore me. Um, well, the reality is once people dive into this God-given revelation themselves, they'll be so in love with God and themselves and everyone else that they'll just be so thrilled that they left the crap behind. Um, but for the first time that you get exposed to the light, it's so blinding, you're just like, oh my gosh, I can't believe how pathetic I am and by how stupid I've been for a lifetime. And I'm like, yeah, well, just thank God that you've been called higher now. <laughs> That's what the wise man always does. He doesn't look at the past. He doesn't whine and complain or gripe. He just thanks God for revelations that he gets every single day, knowing that God has ordained him to increase. <sighs> oh my goodness. So that's why I say, as David prophesied, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. That is exactly the condition of my being right now. I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. Dry bones everywhere. Dead people that don't know the secret. Dead people that don't have the revelation. Dead people that don't have the feelings of God through their entire being every single day. And they're all dead. They're all dead. And they're all hiding in these boxes known as houses. Overpriced as can be and foolish as can be. There's no joy, there's no life, there's no ecstasy, there's no pleasure. The love lives are basically non-existent, if not completely pathetic. I'm just stating it like it is. And I'm therefore prophesying what the future will be for people who obey. This is a message of incredible hope, by the way, and actual incredible joy. But you have to be sober about the current condition. Hi. <sighs> <laughs> dead things everywhere. And dead people worship dead things because that's what they feel comfortable around. Have you noticed that people hang around people and things that are like them? So what do you see dead people doing with their day? Tinkering with toys. Cars, housing, trinkets, renovations, saws, wood. Yeah, it's pretty obvious. And so they can't, ha they can't handle a living on fire person like me because they just can't handle it. I'm just so different from them currently that I'm so intimidating to them. They just, they just go back to the shadows. Like a cockroach goes back to the shadows in front of a light. That's it. I'm just here to tell you what my reality is like. You've got politicians galore that can't even think straight, can't speak straight, have no revelation from God. Therefore, they never say the personal names of God in any of their speeches. They're all in darkness. They're all children. They're all fools. I have revelations from God that are in all of my videos. You can watch them firsthand and obey them and experience the ecstasy of God in your, in your life like never before. And you'll be like, wow, all those politicians were like non-Christian high school students that looked like a bunch of children, weirdos. And I'll be like, yeah, I told you so. The whole thing was a stupid, unenlightened game 
It was all a result of humans seeking humans first rather than God. You seek and worship human popularity rather than God first, you get nothing. And God will raise up someone like me with the real secrets and he'll be like, wow, look at the difference. One hundred percent trash. There is not a truly alive, God-filled politician on earth today. <sighs> Zombieville five thousand. <sighs> I'm saying this to set people free, by the way. Okay, particularly males. <sighs> because males need to be who they were born to be. They need to feel the way they were born to feel. When males lead the way, women will happily follow and dive into all the love and the romance and the joy that this cocoa revelation and this whole dietary revelation um, results in. It's really not that hard. The average person is monkey see, monkey do. <sighs> okay. Um, you know... People need to see evidence of someone who is living the dream, smell it, detect it, hear what that person has to say, obey it, and feel the dream for themselves. And that's exactly the story of my life. Women, in particular, are waiting for a male to hear the personal voice of God and speak. And they'll obey, receive, feel, and delight. Until then, it's all a joke. Round and round and round, while Satan is laughing. Okay? So I'm here to bring this to an end. Folks, you have to admit, I live in a city full of tens of thousands of people and no one is outdoors. What does that tell you about people's innards, about their diet, about their closeness to God who created mankind in Eden, walking on his feet outdoors all day? Done. I, I, I've already told you the problem. The evidence is dramatic. How in the world can we have tens of thousands of people, hundreds of thousands, living in cities and no one is capable of spending all day outdoors with pleasure? Diet. Distance from God. It is the glory of God in humans to be walking outdoors pleasurably on their feet all day. Remember, when you die and breathe your last, you lie down on a bed stiff as a board with no energy and no life. And Satan is laughing. When you stand up and rise up and walk to the glory of Jesus who rose from the dead, and you proudly walk all day long with God food flowing through your veins, you are the glory of God on planet Earth, and Satan can't stand it. Do you think human beings sitting in these dumb metal contraptions as if they were medieval criminals with the same hands and wrists locked in the stocks, do you think that's the glory of God? No, it's not. It's completely stupid. And everyone drunk the Kool-Aid. I'm here to tell you that there are many people on planet Earth who are bored. And I'm inviting everyone out of boredom. And the key is the diet that I've been speaking of. Literally, I'm just telling you uh, what God has been saying to me, what God has been doing in my life. And you can experience the results for yourself. But I'm saying that these words from the Lord, okay, um, and that this dietary revelation and revolution <laughs> is the furthest thing from boring, and it's your total ticket out of boredom and non-pleasure. <laughs> you know, um, mark my words, folks. I used to uh, live in an office for some of my work. I've been a computer programmer, and it's trash compared to this. Um, ay, ay, ay. So it's a uh, it's a beautiful cool uh, day okay um, for outdoor walking and God always gives me perfect weather based on these revelations that he's giving to me he always gives me the perfect weather for okay the diet that he has been leading me in and the pleasure that I get to feel all day long uh, most often which has me outdoors for most of the day 
I am in paradise on the inside and on the outside, okay, because of Coco. Um, and um, I, can, I can walk all day in bliss. The truth is I can perform anything all day in bliss. That's the truth. But naturally speaking, um, I'll enjoy this pleasurable weather by just walking like, like Moses did all day long. I'm sorry, but that dog won't... I'm sorry, but that dog won't... Wow. See, you see the stupid people that I live among. Like, that dog will not make you happy. It's, it's, it's unbelievable what, what people do with their lives apart from God. Trade your dog for God immediately. The International Society of Prisons. Yes, sir. That's what this housing area will go down in history as. Giant boxes with no life inside. 